force y'all to it. To be given the opportunity to rebuild what I... Uh, the, the, the damage that I... Well, I, I don't feel worthy of it, but, but I, I will do it, absolutely. I want to stress that this was never about your culpability. Uh, uh, it, it is to me. Dr. Sobek, Margo, they were smart to get out of Pharaoh when they did, but, but not one of us took it as a warning sign. It, it just told ourselves they weren't cut out for the BTRI cabals. Uh, that's the, the better than rapid innovation. Uh, a better at competing, better than the next guy, a, a better killing machine. <laughs> Isn't it just amazing how a century and a half of science fiction did nothing to swerve our species from the path of doom? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that life. I mean, I, I will work hard, twice as hard to earn this, for, for my family to have a place in Elysium. I never thought I that there could be uh, atonement. If you're still nauseous. No, the inhibitors have kicked in. I can't feel the back of my tongue. I wish I could tell you I'd believe in this, but the damage is too great, too extensive, too complete. With all respect to Dr. Sobek's work at Miriam, no, no. Life doesn't always find a way to keep going. Sometimes it never comes back, like Syzygy East, like the Congo. Like Timo. Like us. That's our reward? A buried city full of terminal patients waiting out the clock? You grow old together with your loved ones in safety. I don't have loved ones. I suppose I could start a family? I'm afraid not. All inhabitants of Elysium will be medically sterilized. A habitat capable of sustaining a starting base of 2,000 individuals for up to 100 years is a huge challenge, Dr. Alpert. If the population grows instead of diminishes, everyone will be dead inside 30 years. I knew it. I just couldn't bring myself to say the words. I'm sorry. Finish it. Medical euthanasia. I want no part of this. I just want it over. I see. Protocols require a 48-hour waiting period, after which... Is he to make sure I behave this time? Security. For your protection. Would you like to discuss how you're feeling? Sure. I'll tell you. Surprised. No. Flabbergasted. Like my own man would say, flabbergasted. Alert. That vein pumping Medical in his forehead. Inaccessible. I thought, I thought you people were just completely underprepared for a spaceflight project. But now I can see it's worse. Much worse. Sobek is a total fantasist, a, a dangerous fantasist. This kind of blue skying, it, it's... <gasps> Jesus. I'm sorry we wasted each other's time. I'm ready to leave now. I'm afraid that's not possible. <laughs> Everything you're talking about here isn't possible. I recommend you read the documents regarding your options. I've seen enough. I'm getting out of here. What are you... You don't... Get your hands off me! Intruder! Get her! I've been Get seen. over here! She's coming! Don't die now! For the run- ah! 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 
tomorrow. Zero Dawn. It is art, in a way. An expression on the grandest scale. But there is so much unfairness. Why was I chosen? Was it decided by committee? By algorithm? My family will be saved because I happen to graduate in art history? Is this right? Dr. Souvet? Christina Souvet? Yes. I met a man, another historian. His fields are Bauhaus and the New Materialists. But he once attended one of my talks. Another unfair chance. Of all the many people in their auditorium, that we should both be here now? And yet, I feel more accepting of my fate. No, it is not fair, not at all. But for the sake of my family, for the sake of art. Art is alive. It must be able to speak from beyond history and echo in the future, not perish into oblivion. This opportunity, I must do this. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. Done. I should check the door nearby. There's a part missing. Maybe there's a storage area nearby. Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Hey, I'm d
those lame FBI black hats at Mockingbird back in the day? I enjoyed schooling them. But maybe I went in too hard on this poor counselor. She was cute, and just going down a checklist after all. Couldn't expect her to see how ridiculous Zero D's ambitions are. God's own budget thrown at a kid playing with a hologram sculptor? Palms up, honey. I'm just calling it like it is. Hey, look, Mom, I'm making nature. Now, if nature is so important, why not let nature take its course? Extinction? That's natural. Zero Dawn? No, ma'am. That ain't. Heck, it's so unnatural, it'd be called an abomination back home, and you know it. That's why you're hiding it. Meanwhile, my little honey of a counselor, she's munching the inside of her cheek. Bad habit. She chewed one of her nails, too. Just one. Not your day, was it, little sweet pea? Saw her quota slipping away. Said, I assume you intend to decline the assignment, Mr. Tate. <laughs> you kidding me? 18 months hard labor in exchange for 30 years lounging around Elysium watching porn? <laughs> Sign me up. Found one. Looks intact. That should do the trick. Now let's get that door open.
That did it. Door should have power. Now to see what lies beyond it. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. moment anyway. Then get moving. You have to find Gaia. is Hephaestus. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Gaia will use to make lots and lots of robots. Her personal forge. Except, it's not that simple. Um, so like, you probably noticed that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest, experts in machine cognition, virtual heuristics, that stuff. Well, that's because we aren't going to be the ones designing and building robots. The last thing we want is to burden Gaia with a bunch of outmoded 21st century designs. Waste of time. Our purpose is to empower Gaia to build the robots. And not just build, imagine, from scratch. Any robot she needs for any conceivable purpose, designed and fabricated at a snap of a finger. Hers. Her finger. So, Hephaestus isn't really the forge. It's more like the knowledge of craft and ingenuity of a master smith to wield the hammer. Encoded as software. Virtual creativity made real. Gaia's already learning. In simulation, she's doing some very creative things with fractal assembly and animal morphologies. Her designs aren't about to win the Liam Prize anytime soon, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere. 
So, yes. Time to get started. Let's do this. I don't get it. Which part? It's a little technical in places. If Gaia was designed to save life, why would the robots it makes attack people? Perhaps it loves some forms of life more than others. The derangement. The machines weren't always so angry. True. Mostly they were docile until 10, 15 years ago. For years, Hephaestus has been forcing cauldrons to make aggressive machines. I've seen it myself, in the cauldrons. Stalkers, ravagers, a thunderjaw. How could it do that? And why? Why indeed. These shapes, I've seen them before, in a cauldron. You've been inside a cauldron? An abandoned one, yes. So the cauldrons, they belong to Gaia? It would appear so. The birthing places of her machines. I think this is it. Elizabeth Sobek's office. But it's sealed off. There's got to be a way inside. Keep looking. More eclipse. Careful now. Welcome to Apollo, the collective memory of the human species and the wellspring of knowledge for future generations. I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Tehran. As a heritage professional, I devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge, creative endeavor, and cultural achievement. Apollo is, therefore, 
the ultimate embodiment of a lifelong passion, albeit under the very worst circumstances imaginable. The challenges before us are immense. Specifically, we will have to design and implement four major initiatives simultaneously. First, the construction of data repositories in cradle facilities around the world ensuring redundancy. Second, the collection and processing of a projected 180 million discrete data entries. 42 zettabytes of data in Mandarin, English, Spanish, and Arabic. Third, the transferal and encoding of all that data onto DNA encapsulated in synthetic fossils. The only medium capacious and durable enough to safeguard it without degradation for the centuries to come. And last, but not least, the development of the holographic interface and gamified curricula by which future humans will commune with Apollo, progressively unlocking heuristic learning modules, leveling up their knowledge and skills they will need to take control of the terraforming system. That is the future towards which all of our efforts will be directed. Not just the preservation of the past, but the seed for the flourishing of a new tree of knowledge. Welcome, and let us begin. All of this lost. The ancient's greatest gift to us. Greatest? How about the fact we exist at all? Ah! To abide ah! ignorance is a curse, Aloy. You of all people should know that. God! Tuck that away.
Welcome to Hades. Zero Dawn's extinction failsafe protocol. The ultimate killer app. Now, I know what you're thinking. The purpose of Gaia is to resurrect life. So why give her a subordinate function, only purpose of which is to wipe out life all over again? I mean, what the... what? Just plumb crazy, ain't it? Well, no, it isn't. Reconstituting a biosphere? That's a tall order. Tech smart as Gaia may be, odds are she won't get it right the first time. I mean, imagine your Gaia 200 years from now and this new biosphere growing, it's all gone wrong. Alkalines are skyrocketing, coniferous forests eroding under the lash of superstorms that would have drowned Noah. It's chaos, spinning top that won't stop wobbling. And what are you going to do? Release phase one organisms into that hot mess? Hope their CO2 and methane can balance out what you got started? Hell no. What you're gonna do, Gaia, is step aside while Hades takes over and does what you're just too darn nurturing and life-loving to do. Which is burn that misbegotten mess of a biosphere to the ground so Gaia can start over. Okay, not burn, more like reverse terraforming operations and suffocate it. But... You get the idea. Hades takes the biosphere back to zero. Square one, blank slate. And then, only then, does it hand the steering wheel back to Gaia and say, try again, old girl. And better this time, or we'll have to do this again. That's Hades. It's pretty badass when you think about it. Extinction on demand. Death on speed dial. All for the greater good, of course, but still, kind of metal. So welcome to Hades. Welcome to the Void. Okay, so if that's the original purpose of Hades, why does it want me extinct? We need more data. And how does it end up in the wreckage of a Pharaoh Titan, getting worshipped by the Eclipse like some kind of god? I'm learning as you are, Aloy. Keep searching. Looks like the only way onwards. Welcome to Eleuthia, the crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is by Eleuthia that the human race will continue to exist. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this program. Now let one thing be perfectly clear from the outset. Eleuthia is not a genetic engineering project. Our goal is to preserve the human genome, not alter it. A snapshot of human genetic diversity, literally frozen in time. The genetic quintessence of our species, unmodified. 
and by what our activities and initiatives will comply with the 2034 clone provisions and the 2048 rally accords. Now that may seem a quaint, even trivial concern to you in light of present circumstances, but as one of the authors of the accords, it is far from trivial to me. The practical challenges before us are staggering in scope and complexity, but not insurmountable. No. Global collation and provisional storage of zygotes, perfection of exogenic technologies, design and perfection of servitors to provide nurture and inculcation during early child development, all of these program components must and will proceed in tandem. To say nothing of the breakneck construction of cradle facilities at sites around the world. So, si vous êtes prêt, let us begin. Cradle facilities. Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. It was one of them? There's only one way to be sure. The hatch wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Though Capric forms show superior load bearing capability. You're a quick study, Gaia. Dr. Sobek, as I have conducted this comparative analysis of mammalian morphologies, I've gathered extensive data on the Quaternary Extinction event. Oh? And your assessment? Gaia? Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. And yet. And yet. I find the loss of megafaunal species unaccountably sad. That they passed forever into oblivion causes me to experience a grief that is difficult to describe. Am I malfunctioning? No, no, Gaia, you're not. This is good. It's very good. You 
will undergo a brief period of unconsciousness during relocation to Prime and final statement. Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? When you're back up and running at the new site, we'll bring the subordinate functions online and see where we stand. Elizabeth, I detect distress. Are you all right? I'm fine. I realize that circumstances compel us to launch earlier than we hoped, but all subsystems are operational. The odds stand in our favor. But what if... Guy, there's nothing left out there. You can't even survive unless you're wearing an environmental suit. There are billions dead in fear and agony. What if... What if it was all for nothing? Elizabeth, extinction was inevitable. Thanks to you, life will have a future. You really believe that? I believe in you, Elizabeth. In you, all things. Pure logic won't cut it, Ted. To pull this off, Gaia's going to need to have some skin in the game. It has to care. What if it runs amok? Have we learned nothing from our mistakes? Your mistakes, I think you mean? All I'm saying is give it a kill switch. She was just born, Ted. I'm not gonna put a gun to her head while she's still in the cradle. You talk like it's a child. What if it becomes a monster? Elizabeth, may I speak outside protocol? <sighs> of course, Gaia. Go on. I'm sorry to contradict you, but Mr. Farrow's argument is sound. At this point, the development of my psyche is not entirely predictable. To ensure preservation of life, a hardwired override is, I believe, a necessary safeguard. There. Satisfied, Ted? Jeez, Liz, just do what it says. I'd have to ditch something. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside Allmother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? 
Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh, no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. Suitable death in mind for you, child. <laughs> My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Joran was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost. And he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. <laughs> no. It wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts, haunted every step. It was only when I captured you, down in that place, that I finally glimpsed the sun's design etched at length across the course of events. You were meant to survive that day on the mountain, meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men. Conversely, I was meant to capture you, here, so that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be, predestined and preordained. <laughs> 